Once again, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy S20 Plus Exynos chipset mobile phone. This is what I got on my mobile phone. One UI version 7.0 Android 15. If you can read the build number, Extreme ROM Nexus 1.0. Now the developer released the Extreme ROM Nexus 2.0. As soon the Extreme ROM Nexus 2.0 got released, I started getting messages that please make a tutorial video show how to update Extreme ROM Nexus version 1.0 to Extreme ROM Nexus 2.0 without losing a data. Well, I have not that much data. If in case I am trying to updating it without formatting, if I get lose the data, it doesn't matter because I already save my data. But there are many users who have a lot of data and uh, they have downloaded a lot of applications from the play store and also it takes a lot of time saving the data on the computer hard drive or to the otg storage etc etc and those who do not have options to save the data to somewhere that is why without losing a data update the extreme rom nexus 1.0 to the extreme rom nexus 2.0 one thing i would like to inform i am doing the uh, updating procedure but if you are following it in case if something goes wrong with your mobile phone i am not responsible for that because i advise to do the neat and clean flashing save the data format the data then do the flashing which will make the device to run flawlessly credit goes to these uh, names that are mentioned over here thanks to all of them now if you want to download then you need to click uh, the release section say other website will get open you can read version 2.0 and you need to copy the uh, password from here then you can click the link download here it is the go file web server will get open select the password delete it and then paste the newly copied password then uh, click unlock here you can see many files are provided now you need to check the code name of your mobile phone and you need to download the file the extreme rom nexus 2.0 according to the code name ja, remember do not a flash wrong code name file name file on your uh, other code name mobile phone for example like i have s20 plus so my mobile phone code name is y2s i need to download the particular code name file of my mobile phone i will not download the z3s if i try to flash it will cache it will show errors so you need to check the code name then download the files accordingly you can click your desired file and it will start downloading so this is what i downloaded the file already extreme rom nexus 2.0 y2s for the galaxy s20 plus exynos and i have copied the file already on my mobile phone now going back to my mobile phone so before starting the updating procedure let me show something these are the data that I got on my mobile phone just to make sure that the data will not get erased after updating the ROM hopefully so before booting to TWRP we have to do one more one thing that is go back to go to settings then go to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe the ROM coming default rooted with kernel SU this one you can boot the mobile phone directly by opening the kernel SU or if you want to boot the mobile phone manually then you need to power off the mobile phone and then you need to uh, connect the cable and booting the mobile phone into custom recovery manually by pressing the combination keys but in case if you have a kernel su simply tap the kernel su to open it then tap the circle sign and tap reboot to recovery simple way to boot the phone into custom recovery when twrp screen appears tap settings and tap the third menu and make the screen time out to maximum then go back and tap install and i hope that you have copied the rom on your internal storage of the mobile phone in case if you have downloaded the rom directly on your mobile phone then it must be in download folder well i copied the rom that is why the rom file is on the root partition so just simply 
tap to select the ROM file, then swipe to confirm flash. So this is called a dirty flashing, which will update the ROM and we will get the extreme ROM Nexus 2.0. It will take a time, so we have to wait here. So flashing done, script succeeded, right? Now tap wipe cache Dalvik, swipe. When done, then tap reboot system. The mobile phone will stay on the Samsung Galaxy logo for a while and then it will start booting to the extreme ROM Nexus 2.0. Finally, everything's done and uh, hopefully data remains there you can see that all the data of my data all on my mobile phone remains there let me show the settings screen i will tap the about phone well the product name i can see that galaxy s25 ultra because rom ported from the s25 ultra but the model number that i can see is the s20 plus g985f oblique ds which is a dual sim set both i mean number present over here We'll tap the software information well one ui 7 and white 15 google play system got updated it is now first fab 2025 before it was first october 2024 bizmin version provided this is the kernel version and the build number if you can see now extreme rom nexus 2.0 the set got updated from extreme rom nexus 1.0 to extreme rom nexus 2.0 so read the description and check the rom after updating it thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye